I'm going to show you two clips from a recent interview where Catholic Bishop Robert Barron dissects the current spiritual crisis that we are currently experiencing today and what the church needs to do about it. I'll give you some brief thoughts in between, and then I'll finish with where the biggest opportunity is for the church to win back souls in our modern world. Here's the first clip. If you're told that there's no transcendent point of reference, nothing beyond this world, all there is is you know matter in motion, things dumbly here, we're, we've come from nowhere, we're going nowhere, that produces, of course, a deep you know thunderstorm in the heart and in the soul, and you know it also gives rise to a spiritual longing, which you can see in people. But the crisis is a materialism that has locked people into this little tiny space, the buffered self, as Charles Taylor called it. You know, we're buffered from any contact with the transcendent, and it's because death is the final. Yeah, sure. I've, I've come from nowhere. I'm going nowhere, um, and it's producing. I would say these spiking numbers in depression, anxiety, suicidal tendencies in young people, that's the spiritual crisis. Mm. Modern people, especially young people, have been tricked into believing that belief in God is delusional and that our religious traditions are an arbitrary set of rules for a more primitive people. This is the church's fault. We've failed in standing up effectively to those who oppose us. What's the evidence? More and more people are turning to the secular way of life. However, our opportunity lies in the fact that people's pursuit of this secular way is leading people to emptiness and misery because of the purposeless suffering that they are experiencing. If we can better communicate what it means to believe in God and that each and every person has a God-given purpose and that there is a way for you not only to overcome the suffering that you are going through, but in fact, it will make you stronger we could win masses of souls in this battle that we are currently engaged in. And this is what Barron gets at here. Young people studying science at the highest level, studying engineering at the highest level, studying law and mathematics at the highest level. Why in the world would we think, oh, they can't understand these themes of theology? I just came from a conference on Thomas Aquinas. You know, Thomas writes the Summa, the famous Summa Theologiae, for beginners. It's for incipientes, he says. It's for beginners in theology. So this high-level text that he designed for 18, 19 year olds who were just starting off. So first of all, that's nonsense. They can't you know, understand it. Secondly, we should challenge them more than we do. Uh, I grew up with the you know, church of relevance and let's make it as easy and user friendly as possible and let's give you no challenges. That's why they left. That's why they left. Because who cares about such a church? We should intellectually and morally challenge young people, give them something to fight for, give them something substantive to think about, and they know what they stand for, and they, they're going to go, you know, fight for it. How does, how does the church fix it? Go back to the saints. Watch the saints. Uh, you know, I'm with Urs von Balthasar. The greatest theologians are the saints. They're the ones who live these truths. Hold up the Mother Teresa's and the John Paul II's and the, and the uh, Pier Giorgio Frassati's and, and uh, hold up these great figures who embody um, the Catholic way of being and say, you know, be one of them, be a saint. Now talk about, there's the challenge if you want. Don't settle for spiritual mediocrity. The church doesn't care about that. It cares about saints. It doesn't mean you have to be a you know, world famous figure. It, follow the little way of St. Therese of Lisieux, but be a saint in your life. And you'll, um, as wasn't it um, Catherine of Siena said, you'll, you'll set the world on fire if you become the person God wants you to be. So we fix it by means of the saints and by, an honest and smart and beautiful presentation of our faith. We will win young people over, all people over, when we are able to show them that what the church has to offer is not a pointless set of rules to constrain your life, but actually it contains the best way to live that leads to a life in full. It's where you grow in understanding of your creator and the purpose for which you were made and responsible for on this earth. The accepting of this, as we call cross, and carrying it in your life leads you to what you are desperately looking for in this life. Finally, it offers you not just relief from your suffering, but teaches you how to use it in order to become the person that you ultimately, deep down, desire to be, a saint, the person that God made you to be, so that you can win souls, contribute to building up the church, and set the world on fire.